Hi, it's Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. I'm here at Frontiers, and joining me now in the studio, I have Vincent Hennemont. He is with a company called Achille, and you guys are using a version of gamification in healthcare for a, a number of different disease states, right? So talk to me a little bit about what you're doing. Absolutely, thank you, Jessica, for having us here. So uh, we use, actually, video game as a way to deliver our treatments. So okay. our treatments are developed as digital therapeutics, we go through clinical trials and normal validation together with agencies. We use regular endpoints that every drug or pharmaceutical company would actually use as well. And we actually claim uh, for the treatment of certain cognitive dysfunctions. Okay, so all cogn like, talk to me about what you mean in terms of cognitive dysfunctions. Like, give us some diagnoses that you're working to help provide treatment for. Yeah, as an example, our lead indication in ADHD, uh, we treat uh, attention deficits inhibitory control, working memory, but other executive functions like cognitive control, your ability to pay attention and not listening to the background noise that we have just behind us. Okay. So that is one of the executive functions that is lacking in ADHD, for instance. Okay, and so how are you, how, are, how is what you're doing different than like, I mean, using just typical like gamification, the way that we would think of in terms of like, you know, designing a game that's, you know, fun to play, but also has some sort of an, an, a, a bent toward a health outcome. So how is what you're doing different? So first of all, uh, again, the, the, the video game is just a syringe to the treatment. Uh, we have a series of algorithms that are adaptive to each patient that monitor your cognitive impairments and adapt the challenge, the sensory st stimulus, to which cognitive impairments you have. The video game is just delivering it. If you take any normal video game on the commercial ad side street, they would actually deliver on a storyboard. You have to do certain stuff to go to the next level and blah, blah, blah. You know the story, yeah. right? Here, we don't have a storyboard. Okay. Uh, the system actually just uses the video game and deliver on what you need to have to actually get a clinical outcome. Is it fun? It's very fun, actually. That, <laughs> <laughs> and it's a very important it question. It didn't sound very fun for a minute. <laughs> it, it is fun. Um, and it's also uh, hard. And, okay. And it could be frustrating. So we use the analogy of the treadmill. So you can use speed and incline. Right? If you want to train for the marathon, uh, the system will adapt 30 times a second to what you do, need to do to be ready for the marathon. So think about a system that would use a video game and all the sensors that you can find on a device to train you to improve your cognitive functions. And so it's fun because we use video games and we had other means to deliver the treatments to maximize endurance and compliance. So typically in ADHD, we have north of 85% compliance to the prescription. Okay, so tell me a little bit, I guess, about you, the business that you guys are running. So are you a, you're a, a pretty large company, so do you have 100 people, is that right? And you're based at both in the U.S. and here in Europe? So we're not in Europe yet. No, it's okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So we have two offices, one on the uh, East Coast in Boston, the other one on the ah, West okay. Coast. Uh, separation of functions, headquarters, medical science functions in, uh, on the East Coast. And we also, also internalized a video game studio on the West Coast, formerly owned by uh, the LucasArts division. So we insource the Star Wars division from LucasArts. And we have our own video game studio that en enable us to iterate quickly on, on new versions of the video game. What's different about designing a video game for healthcare than designing a video game for regular consumer consumption? So from the art and graphics side, uh, what I've been told, and, and uh, I come from pharma, so I didn't know You're much like, about that. You're like, I have that. no idea. Yeah. <laughs> so so when I discovered that uh, from my colleagues, uh, from the art and graphics side, pretty much nothing. It's okay. very, very it's similar. It's the same, okay. Yeah, absolutely, they do it. Um, I, I discovered that industry actually two years ago when I joined. What's very different, though, is the, all the um, CGMP compliance, the regulatory compliance to uh, how you do things how your quality control systems are in place. So you don't change the color of the characters like you do in the video game industry. You have to uh, actually inform what you do, qualify what you do, and describe what you do in a dossier that will be ultimately submitted to the agencies. No, I know you had mentioned that you've got like FDA approval on some of these treatments. So talk to me a little bit about that process, because that's something that I know a lot of health tech startups are struggling with, especially because, and they'll make the claim, well, my technology is changing so fast. I can't go through clinical trials the same way a pharmaceutical, like a, like a pill, would go through trials. Things are different. Would you agree with that? Or how have you guys managed that? 
So, so again, the core aspect of our technology, the active ingredient, if we can call it, is a series of algorithms right. uh, and self-adaptive systems. So that is not evolving that fast. Very fast, fast. Right? okay. Right? What evolves is the software okay. around uh, those systems or those core algorithms. What may evolve as well is the nature of the video game. So what we think uh, in terms of product development, uh, the mindset is lifecycle management from inception. So as soon as we start our first product, there is a, a B team that starts the second, ver second iteration of the product. Wow. So that we can actually maximize endurance and compliance, exactly like in the video game industry. That's incredible. I think that's really interesting how you guys have managed that process and built that into your business model design and your product development design. Yeah. Very cool. So what's next for you guys? Well, for us, actually, uh, we're we actually expecting uh, feedback from FDA over the coming months. Uh, and then as soon as we get that feedback, according to the kind of feedback they will give us, uh, we're going to launch in the U.S. by ourselves. It was an intentional uh, decision, strategy decision made earlier this year. Ex-U.S. partnerships to be announced next quarter in 2019. Uh, and then move the portfolio forward uh, right. with uh, indications such as depression, multiple sclerosis, schizophrenia, and your degeneration as well. Very cool. Well, we look forward to seeing what exciting and fun games come out from you guys. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to speak with you. I'm Jessica Damasa at Frontiers Health. Thanks for joining us.